So this is made to get the needle off really easily. This lower part is actually a little clip. You just get a grip with your fingernail and off it comes, just like that. There it is. I have a slide here with many needles on it already. You can see quite a few, exactly the same as this one. Same style. Maybe not exactly the same, but I'm sure it looks similar, doesn't it? So we're just going to stick that down there. We'll take a look under the microscope now. Shift the stage over here and uh, the one we're interested in. And over here. This is this is it here. Good. Focus. We're looking straight down onto the tip. signs of wear there. Now it's very tricky to judge a needle. The needles wear on the sides. The point, the actual tip point of the needle is not really supposed to touch the record. It's really the sides of the needle uh, riding up in the groove, if you can picture that. So the sides are what wear. And the sides would be on the left and right of this image. The way I have it here, it's straight up. The uh, cantilever part is straight up. So we, we need to do some special light stuff here. Um, let me get my special light. I have a light I made just for this purpose. And the trick is to shine a light onto the flat surface and see the flat reflection. Or look for the flat reflection. I gotta, I gotta dose the lights in my shop here. this one most importantly. Okay, now I'll take my little light here and we'll, we'll shine it on the side. What I'm looking for is a flat spot. This is not easy to do. Try and focus a little bit here. If, that, if the point is, is perfectly rounded, then you expect to see a point of light. Now I'm just going to rotate the light I'm shining around. See that? See that right in there? It looks pretty really reflective. Right? I'll come around a little further. Oh, it's just even more reflective. <laughs> I did tell you this is really hard to do, didn't I? Some of the light goes right through the diamond and shows up on the other side. I can't, I can't tell. Okay, another way, another way. This isn't working for me. Even though I spent hours trying to teach myself how to do that. Another way is to look at this right on its side. So I'm going to grab the needle here. I'm going to flip it so it's I'm actually going to look at the side of it. Look at the side on. And get it to I have a little double-sided tape on my uh, a slide there. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Huh. Let me just get it in the middle here. Well, that's a beautiful image. Wow. That's like one of the nicest images I've ever seen of a needle. Is that for real? Wow. Looks pretty good to me. Now, we're looking at the side where the wear would be. Wow, okay, so... Yeah, looking right at the tip. Uh, you know what, really... Uh, wow, it looked 
to look at this in another angle, but I don't think I can prop it under the microscope in that angle. That'd be to look look dead on the front of it. Because I think I'll show you what I think I'm seeing here. A little bit of light in the shop. And my So, the needle looks like this. There's a shaft, and the needle is just this last little bit. Not all this. There's some kind of a adhesive in here that holds the needle on. The needle is just this little tiny tip. Isn't that a terrible picture for you to look at? That's better. Okay, so the wear occurs here. So if the, if the needle was riding in the groove like this, my fingers are the groove, then the wear takes place on these two sides. And so over time, the needle goes from looking something like that, this is actually kind of rounded here, to looking something like this. Oh my god, my art. It's pretty hard to draw. Something, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> that's just terrible. Uh, let's try again. Here's the needle. And these sides start wearing away. They start kind of, I'm showing them cupping, but they don't cup in. They go flat. Flat. This front part stays rounded, but these sides get flat. And that's what I was trying to reflect the light off of, these flat surfaces here. I've certainly seen some needles where it's really obvious. They shine a light, I mean, you can see, you can see the flat spot. Right now, we're looking at the needle this way. So we're looking right at the flat spot there, if there is one. If I can rotate it a little bit here. I'm going to stick my hand right in front of the light when I do that. I'll refocus. Looks really good. Go up a little bit in power here. Take a closer look. Uh, now we're really getting a good look at it. This is some of the best images I've ever gotten of a needle. Okay, see those fun funny, right at the point, you see a bunch of funny little shiny spots. That's the wear. Uh, it's just very confusing because the diamond is clear and light is passing through it and so there's some funny light effects here. We're looking, we are looking literally at the flat side. And I don't think there's much I can do with light here to, to show it up. Kind of all about how you light these things. I wish I could describe how I'm shining the light, but... Now you'd think it'd be easy to look under a microscope and see a, a needle. That one's a little dirty too. Let's, let's clean it off here. And, uh, best way to clean it off, you know, is with the Mr. Clean Eraser. And uh, you don't, I don't have one handy. You don't, uh, you don't drag it over the surface. You, you, you take the magic eraser and you just dip the needle in and out of it, like this. Just in and out. Don't drag it around in that. It actually does a pretty good job. A nice little alcohol bath will also help. Uh, about uh, just about any fluid at all here. This is a little crude. I'm going to use a Q-tip. It's not exactly the best, best thing to use. A 
believe it or not, I don't. I can't grab my alcohol. I'm rushing now. So this is uh, stuff you clean your glasses with. So I'm not dragging it over the surface. That would pull potentially pull the diamond right off. Let's see. Let's see how that did. Let's see. Let's see if I'm making any sense at all. Stick a little bit, would you? So I've worn out my tape here. It's got a little wet. Okay, I'll just stick this under. We'll have to look straight up, straight down at it again. Come on. There we go. There we go. There it is, finally. Okay, we found it. Just start down here at the bottom and just come up. Well, you know, I mean, it's not broken off. It's not obviously worn down to nothing. It looks really pretty good, in fact. I'm going to give that guy a pass. I think, I think we're good on all accounts here. And I, I have seen many of these uh, needles where the actual diamond needle is missing. It's completely ripped off the end of the... Of the uh, you see the frame rate on my camera has gone low from my lack of lighting. And we're back on. So this guy's going to work. He's going to work. Oh, that was a 78 needle all that time. Wow. Let's take a look at the, let's take a look at this one. Okay, 78, yeah, no one's ever played a 78 on this record player. That's the story. Let's see. <laughs> okay, now we're all warmed up to take a look at the real needle that we need to see. We'll start by looking straight down on it again. On the lower magnification to start with. Okay, now that, that's not so happy looking, is it? It's great, we've got a good, good look at a good one. This is a little more what I expected to see. It almost looks like the diamond's been knocked off this one. Let's go a higher magnification. Magnification, that's the name of a song I listened to the other morning. Well, you know, wow, okay, so you see any difference between this needle and the other one? <laughs> Man, now I haven't cleaned this, but wow, that looks to me like the needle's missing. 
That's, looks like we're looking at the top, the flat top of a cone, like we're looking down into a volcano sort of thing. Wouldn't look good. Let's try it on the side here. I'll get this guy to stick. Oh, he's stuck there for a moment. Stick, man, stick. Okay. It's not going to stick. Get this, just one, just hang on one sec. Here. I'll get it. Okay, click, it's on the move. Very hard to coordinate uh, by looking at my uh, screen here. Here we come. La! What is that? <laughs> I'm on the, I'm on Mars here. Yeah, this is the kind of thing you want to drag through your record. Where is the needle? The needle is on the left there. That is the needle. That pile of. <laughs> and it looks to me like the top is missing the point. It's not not seem to have the actual needle on it. Wait a minute. Yeah, now this, I'm sure. See, the 78 needle is bigger. The grooves are bigger in the 78 record. And then, you know, March of Technology, they figured out how to make the grooves much, much smaller. And they introduced the micro groove record, and you needed a smaller needle to run in the micro grooves. And that's what this would be. Except I certainly wouldn't want to drag that through my records. Wow. That, that is just disastrous looking. That other needle was nice and clean. It looked like a piece of diamond all the way through. Although I don't think it was. I think it just had diamond on the very tip. This looks like the diamond's gone off the tip. And what we're looking at is just a filthy, dirty cone that holds the uh, diamond needle on the very tip. I don't think we need to see much more. We need a new needle. Now, I happen to have some others just down the way here on the tray. <laughs> let's just, let's take a look. I don't know offhand if, it's, if any of these are good. I just don't remember. So here's one of them. See how they're right there? And I focused right on the tip of this one. And you see there's like a chisel line there? That's what I was trying to show you in the uh, my uh, horrible sketch work. That is an actual chisel. This thing is worn right out. It's not worn out. I, I shouldn't have it on my microscope uh, slide here. It should be on a record player. But here's another one. They're the same style. Exactly the same style. So here's one. It's really quite tricky, isn't it? Because you are looking at a piece of glass, basically. Isn't it? Clear diamond. But, you know, it's, like, it doesn't look terrible like that. First one, I think either one of those would be a step up. We really need to. Uh, did I look at this one? Yeah, uh, this is not a diamond. A little bit of debris on the top of it. Uh, what kind of jewel is that? That's got to be a sapphire, I think. Yeah, 78 uh, for 78 records. In the earliest days, you used a steel needle, steel, and you played one side, maybe two, two sides of a, of a 78 record with the steel needle, then you threw the needle away. So they had designed the situation so the needle would wear 
and the record would not. Hard to believe, right? A steel needle being dragged through, I don't know what material, uh, some kind of plastic-like record material, and the needle wears, and the steel doesn't. A little bit of dirt and debris there on the top of it. So that's a really curious thing. Now, could it be these needles are reversed on the cartridge? Because they look to me like they are. They look to me like the 78 one might actually be the uh, the micro groove needle. And they've gotten flipped around on there. It's, it's kind of a long shot, but I could see how somebody might think after playing for a while that they'll reverse the needles without knowing these differences. Because, you know, people don't know this stuff. So they might say, oh, maybe we've worn the needle out on one side. I'll just flip the other needle around and keep going, if you know what I mean. And that could be how you get the wrong wrong needle on there, but these things are all numbered and cataloged, and it's not too hard to, to sort out what's up there. If you just are curious about what's going on with this microscope, there it is over there. That's what we were looking through. Okay, so all in all, it's very good news for this record player. Uh, the belts, I know where to get the belts. I'm sure I can get them over the internet too, but I know a store that stocks them. So um, that's not really a problem. Very good. Um, I, I think that's good all around. And because I think it's good, this would be a good time to stop. So hey, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see if we can put all this stuff together and make it play a bit.